Terrace Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why.
Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the First Contact War. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marched by like he was on a mission. The inspectors are always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the First Contact War. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. 
We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectre's been. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge, and he'll take all this from Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. <laughs> you watch too many spy movies, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Ma'am? Ma'am? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir? This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime. 
unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! I 
repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Yeah. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in.